And welcome back, Death Poppers. To the greatest show on earth. My name is Junior. I'm Angel. And I'm Daniel. And today, we're going to be going over Percy Jackson and the Olympians, season one. Yeah, we're going to be going over the top five moments of this season, our favorite parts, what we like really connected with. But make sure you guys stay till the end because we will be talking about, you know, more favorite moments, the worst parts of the show. Yeah, we'll and talk a little bit about the show in general, so. If there's going to be a second season. We'll talk about all that, guys, so make sure you guys listen to the very end, especially if you're on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, because you guys already know we just got on there. Follow right. us if you guys like to listen. Yes, sir. Before we go over in to our top five moments we haven't done this in a while but what do you guys give the show um, i'm giving it a good thumbs up i think yeah. it's a thumbs up i think it's definitely uh you know something you worth guys should watch. go watch yeah worth the watch for sure if you're in a relationship or you're talking to someone it's a good show to watch with that special someone well i was telling you if you're lonely like daniel just binge watch it <laughs> i've only read the first two books yeah nice but i know there's like well, <laughs> good job <laughs> good for you you read <laughs> i didn't know. Uh, uh, how many books is there total five in the first series and then i think five in the second one is it five in the, i thought it was eight total but oh, it's five yeah okay it's five yeah it's five uh it's four right. years but five books yeah like five missions i guess so i got a lot of reading um fun <laughs> fact though for christmas you're never gonna <laughs> believe it jasmine got me the book <laughs> but Percy Jackson so it was really cool guys the reason we're smiling and uh if you're we watching on YouTube you can tell by our body we recorded like the first six minutes without doing the audio so that's why like we're right. just redoing everything yeah. just let everybody know like a little there. deja vu for yeah. us but yeah. yeah no it's a little fun fact that it was cool to be able to read the book and like follow along with the yeah with the show a little bit so yeah. you you know you, you get to see what they changed if it was a good change yeah if, like, we, we can on. talk about that you know after we do our top five moments after so you make sure you guys stay tuned you want to start with number five yeah baby the fifth moment <laughs> chrono's coming in at the end with the dream sequence yeah. he finally reveals himself comes in all spooky do we think that's his final form no no bro he's no. gotta be intimidating i was telling y'all bro I've, that was way too scary not enough intimidating i think he uh well one thing is uh like daniel mentioned uh he's weak because you know they chopped up my boy he's chopped up like some ceviche and yeah bro yeah so i mean i'm sure he's probably like projecting himself pretty like like, like a little he hard yeah. <laughs> he's strong he's like, oh. <laughs> like you know, for, sweat for me know. it was cool to just finally see him like interact with percy like one-on-one -on -one. And pretty much telling him like, I'm like what, what did yeah. he tell him i'm coming for you yeah pretty much he tells him that Percy's the uh, key to his return. No, oh, he is. Which throws Percy off. I mean, spoiler alert, there's a big prophecy that Percy might be a part of, you know? So. Yeah. If you've read the books. We kind of talk about this, that, you know, we like it, but uh, for those of you who don't know your Greek mythology, Kronos is the uh, father of Zeus? Yes. Poseidon, Hades, and Hera, too. Yep. I Maybe one more in there, but the other ones are kids of Zeus, it's like yeah. Ares and kids of Zeus, Zeus. Hermes, um, and Aphrodite. And Kronos was overthrown by Zeus and uh, imprisoned. All three of them. Yeah, a long oh, time ago. Yeah. All three of them. The three of them. Well, both. Well, I was going to say both. Uh, both yeah, both of them. Don't worry. I was trying to look for it. <laughs> I'll, I'll treat them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Just thinking about it, it must suck for Hades to know that his father's just like right down the road. <laughs> you know, like his castle. And then like the whole. The, do you think he ever comes like just puts a lawn chair and just like, what's up, old man? How you doing? What's <laughs> up? Yeah, what's up? Brought you something. Yeah, brought you a little. Have you started decomposing your bitch? <laughs> <laughs> it's over. That leads us to our fourth moment of Percy Jackson. Percy confronting Hades over the uh, Master Bolt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. It was a great moment. Honestly, I thought that was a good little twist. It was a good little twist. Well, where... it's a twist if never read the books. Well, no, but like even for like the in the way they did yeah. it in the show, you know, it's I don't know. I think that's one of those things that adapted well to on screen. It was a twist like yeah. figuring out the twist. I don't know if it's the actor or the way they delivered the line or. You know, well, you know what I missed from the movies that they didn't put in this the show? What? Hades' wife. <laughs> well, no, she wouldn't be there. The uh, the the movies messed that up. So, uh, in the myths, okay. per, uh, per, per, her. what's her name? Persephone. Pers Persephone. 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 She only comes during the winter time because yeah. she's the goddess of flowers or something like that. So she during the summer she's up yeah. with her mom. I think my boy's just horny. No, he yeah. is horny. I'm, just <laughs> I'm telling him that's in the myths. Yeah, she's never there during the summer. She's up. With what her was mom. it? Summer. Yeah. Did you guys like how the underworld looked? Yeah, it I looked thought, a lot better, way better than the movie. Or than the movie, yeah. yeah no, yeah. the only thing I didn't like were the fields of Afastado. Af Af Sometimes I don't know how to pronounce these words, but sometimes all the time. <laughs> no, just because I, I just 
for me, I just see it more of like just like it wasn't spooky, the Great then? Plains. No, no, no. So the fields of Asphodel, <laughs> um, they're just supposed to be like where er- like where everybody goes that wasn't good or bad, and they're just like roaming, you know. I so know, in my head, like, I just see like like um, wheat grains or whatever, like yeah. just a bunch, and yeah. just uh, people just walking, not like just mm. trees or whatever. like that seems too spooky. And I was like, ah, I feel like they would just be like walking around, aiming yeah, this, like, like lost souls, yeah, yeah. just through. Yeah, just chilling, you know? I, I really do also wish we got a little Easter egg of the guy who rolls the boulder up and then just, like, comes back down. Oh. Or the other guy that gets his liver, like... What's his name? Eight. You guys don't know Myth, bro? I know Myth. I just don't know their names. I'm, like, trying to think, but... Hey, you know what we got this time that we didn't... Uh, that they changed from the movie, I what? guess? Uh, The three-headed dog. Was he not in it? No, because we got the... the um. You really... Did you just watch the movie? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't read any books. No, I meant the movie. Did you just watch? Like, did you just like? Because you remember? Have you watched it recently? Oh, no. Yeah. no, it's been a minute. Oh, yeah. But you remember there's no dog. Yeah, there's no dog. I've hey, been it, a while it, since it I was the, the uh, when they go to um, Tennessee. Yeah. And they go into um, what's her face's uh, Athena's uh, temple. It's it's the one that where you cut off the head and oh then, Hydra. Oh, yeah, it was the Hydra. Yeah. Instead of the dog. But the, no, well, the dog wasn't in the underworld, right? Yeah, I saying. know, but um, no, the dog was in the underworld. In the movie. Oh no! Talk, no, talk no, about no. We got the like those his like separate like dog looking things. Yeah, but it wasn't the three headed dog. Going into moment number three, Poseidon reveals himself and saves Percy from uh, Zeus's thunderbolt. Yep. I thought that was a badass moment. Another uh, better looking scene from the movies. Well, in the movies, it, so <laughs> they just shows that one. That one area. Yeah, yeah. They, they're like just a throne room or whatever. Yeah, just throne room. Dude, honestly, they showed all of Olympus, and I thought that was pretty cool. I like that. It, it looked sick. That whole sequence yeah. was just incredible, I think. Yeah, no, it was really great. Like, from the moment he goes to the hotel mm-hmm. or whatever building that was, yeah. and he... Empire State oh, Building. Empire State building. <laughs> this guy, bro, <laughs> is not a fan, bro. <laughs> no, We're going to get hate comments, and I'm no, going to be... No, I spaced the name. I've been to that for building. For me to be associated with this fool. <laughs> What's this it called? fool. I was thinking Empire about State the... Building. No, what, what did he say originally? I said that hotel, hotel building. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like... fucking thinking about Trump Tower. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... What's um, that hotel's name? I'm like, the Empire State Building? Yeah. Um, no, just that whole scene where he like drops off the bolt. He goes up the elevator like, and then, you know, the elevator takes him to, to Olympus. So a big difference from the book and the movie was that the war doesn't start in the book. Like he's, he, he makes it before the summer solstice. So he, yeah. like he stops the war in the show. He's he, late. He, yeah, he's, he's late. late. And there he's about to go to war. And in the movie, I think he's misses it by like a minute. Does he miss it by a minute? Yeah, something like that. Damn, you remember this movie really well. Yeah, bro. For someone who hasn't seen it. I'm like, okay, in the book, he for sure makes it. Like, there's no doubt about it. And you know what's crazy, too? In the book, he takes a plane across the country. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm like, damn, you still got time for all that? Like, crazy. Um, No, but I I did like that change because, like, Zeus, like, really looked intimidating. And he was like, motherfucker, we're about to go to war. Well, just that, yeah, that whole scene where he walks up the, you know, the stairs. And it's it's like the throne room, but it's open, you know? Yeah. Just got the chairs. Hey, while we're on the topic of speaking of Zeus, uh, his uh, actor, Dead. Uh, Lance Stevens, is no Who longer... Who do you say like that, though? Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's no longer yeah. with he's us. He's no longer with us. I do love this role by Lance Stevens. I, I, I enjoyed it. I did, too. He did he a did. great job. So what now? Oh, uh, I think it's easy, though, you, to recast. Just well, because it's easy because he was only in it for like two and a half minutes. Yeah, and but. they're gods, so I feel like you can take any form that you want, yeah. you know, like... Like honestly, but Did I do feel there's another black guy. <laughs> I think so, yeah. honestly. No. <laughs> like just not white, Mexican maybe. You just see Daniel. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know how I got this job. You know who I think would be do good? Who? If this is Pedro Pascal? <clears throat> no. Oh. Oh. Uh Rhodes. John Boyega? No, Rhodes. Oh, Colonel Rhodes from uh, uh, uh James. Uh, what's his real name? Oh, um, well, fucking. Uh, how many times? <laughs> you? Let me whip out. Well, while he's doing that, bro. No, I really, I thought that was the best, like, intimidating scene of the whole series. Was him stopping that because it, I, I felt it, you know. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, she's about to get like fucking. You know? Well, even just when Percy walks up to him and he's just sitting there staring yeah. and waiting for Percy to like, you know, and Percy was on his side of the conversation. Yeah. It was like, hey. Hey, hey look, uncle! Like looking for this? Yeah, anymore. pretty much. Talking about uh, Terrence Howard? Yes, Ter- no, not Terrence Howard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, oh, bro. No, him. <laughs> he's from Empire. Huh? No, you're thinking yeah. of he's the original one. Yeah, yeah. he's the original one. <laughs> <laughs> so confident. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> you're thinking of Don Cheeto. Yeah, yeah. Don Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> Had that joke ready, you motherfucker. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> he set you up good. I know, bro. Um, no, I think I think he would do a good a, do a good Zeus. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think I, like I think because he did good in like Secret Invasion. Mm. I don't know. I like the way he portrayed. He, him he's a real. He, he's a real. I like him as a serious actor. He's got a very po- like, especially in uh, the face. movie uh, Hotel Rwanda from way back when. Hey, we watched hey. that movie in high school. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, for some reason, it's one of my favorite movies. Really? Hey, I, it's, I actually, good. it's a good movie. Made, like, I really even, that movie. Yeah, besides the, uh, the portrayal thing. of everything, yeah. very good. Yeah, when he comes in and grabs the bolt, and then him and uh, Zeus are talking in uh, ancient Greek. Yes. Uh, that's pretty cool. I I really like that. You like yeah. that? I did like that. Well, it's cool too. I feel like Percy should have understood a little bit more. He's supposed to be hardwired to like Greek. Yeah. Um, I well, thought he did in understand Pratos. Pratos, a father. Word. A word. Um, also, Greek is like Latin based. So yeah. like Pratos, obviously that sounds like Papa. Oh, yes. I was surprised with like... <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> when, well, yeah, go ahead. When Percy was like... Well, I mean, I guess I wasn't surprised, but when Percy was like... Kronos is coming and Zeus is like I know he's like, you think I'm a dumbass he always yeah. comes yeah, he's oh, like, yeah, he does this yeah, every yeah, fucking yeah. 10 years yeah, yeah. yeah. he's, he's like, like we yeah, do this, this is all- seasonal yeah, yeah he's like we do this all the time Yeah, but this time he's coming back for real yeah and then uh, Poseidon just instantly surrenders yeah I was gonna say props to him as a younger brother you're like you know what I'm gonna give it to you you won yeah like I don't want to is like for real uh, just like that he's like that? me lo juras no no he, <laughs> no dude dude's what's about be like it smells like <laughs> Bitch in here, like as soon as he said, I would have too. I was like, "You mother bitch, you, Did you fucker." Yeah. Like, I like how he was like, "We're gonna call a, a meeting and we're gonna tell him you surrendered." Yeah, the, yeah. I won. <laughs> He's like, "I want you to announce it to everybody that yeah. you surrendered, you motherfucking pussy." He's like, "We're gonna figure this out as a family." Yeah. I'm like, all right, all right, Vin Diesel. Hey, we need Tom Toretto. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the new Zeus. <laughs> Vin Diesel. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Vin Diesel just shows up. <laughs> family. Family. Why are you driving a Charger, Zeus? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Uh, we, do have, <laughs> we do have the second moment where we have Percy versus Luke at the end. Of, I thought that was a good plot, plot twist, too. Yeah, dude. No, I really did love so. I, I was weighing on it. I well, I was thinking about this. So in the books, they like um, he's the one that teaches him how to fight swords, you know? Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, damn, that sucks that they didn't show it at the beginning, you know? Yeah. So when they showed it at the end, I was like, oh, cool. I get it. Like, do you want to like be set up? Like, it kind mm-hmm. of like sets yeah. it up, though, that you know he's going to betray him. But like still, if you read the books, you know, like he's the yeah. one that does it, you know? But I thought the whole fight scene was sick. I thought the background where like the purple background with the darkness was really cool. Fireworks going off in the background. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Everybody Pretty celebrating. Good. And unlike in the books, so in the books, he doesn't try to recruit him. He's just like, he just tries to kill him. He's like, yeah. here's this poison. You're fucked. <laughs> Get fucked, boy. You know? But in the book, he's like, Percy, like, the gods are bad, bro. Come with me. And he's like, no, I can't. But I, I like that Luke at least tried to recruit him. In you the, mean in the show? Versus, in the show, yeah. yeah. Movie. In, I'm going to bring up the movie all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> in the movie, he just tries to kill them. So I thought it was a good plot twist where he's like, oh, like, come on, Percy. Like, because it would make sense because obviously like you want to recruit the strongest person that you've met you know like yeah. turn him to the dark side no anakin do i have a couple honorable mentions before we get we get to number one all right guys and that leads us to our first honorable mention percy okay. fighting the minotaur cool scene i really love the action sequence of the bull and everything i did too in the car i honestly don't remember Damn. it's when uh when i know what it is <laughs> he's like i remember I but don't i don't remember. i just don't remember how they played it out in this show no, so it was just really cool i just the minotaur chases the car he hits the car and the car like goes flying off the road yeah. and then uh they like run away from it but and they almost make it to Gro- like past grover's the like the minotaur can it knows your scent so the mom's like oh i'll grab your jacket so mm, to mm, confuse nah, it with I the scent, nah, 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 nah. yeah. So she likes that's when she sacrifices yeah. herself. Mm-hmm. I just it was a cool action sequence. I really I enjoyed like a lot of the action sequences in this show. Mm-hmm. We do have another honorable mention: the fight with Echidna in St. Louis over the bridge. I really the whole episode. I honestly thought was amazing. It was just like hard to episode. put this all in just like different moments. So we got an honorable mentions: uh, St. Louis and the Ark. Yeah, uh, the the arch. The arch. You know what's really funny? So, fun fact for the people who don't know, Rick Riordan, the person who wrote the 
the book. In the book, he has it where he thought that the arch was right above the Mississippi River, right? Mm -hmm. And then like people were like, "Oh, that's weird. Like, did he just like float over?" Because people who knew were like, "Oh, it's like it's a good that's like off to the side." Yeah, a little bit. Like, yeah, it's pretty close, but like it's off to the side. So Rick actually like props to him. He was like, "You know what, guys? That was honestly a mistake. I really thought it was just over it." Mm. So now like every time like I'm I'm really glad the way they did it though, where like Zeus came comes up. Oh. Was, Poseidon comes up and like grabs him, yeah. you know. But I thought that was just a fun fact that he, he was like, you know, you got me. I did mess up. I thought I was right over it, and it's not. It's <laughs> yeah, he was like, I guess I've <laughs> never been. But no, it was cool too because it's it sets St. Louis sets up where Percy doesn't trust his father and Annabeth like fully trusts his, her mom, you know? Mm, yeah. And like the roles got reversed because Percy got safe with Poseidon and Annabeth pretty much got like fed to the wolves by uh, Athena and let yeah. Echidna into like the sacred palace and all that you know mm -hmm. so it was like they just kind of like gets them more together like they're more on each other's side yeah. I guess but guys that brings us to today's sponsor that's Paul. that's us baby I don't know how many more times we gotta that's do up. these sponsorships <laughs> before you guys start subscribing like comment subscribe Share this video with your friends and family. We've been doing pretty good lately. You know, hopefully 10K by the end of this year. I hope. <laughs> Honestly, we just need that one video at this point. Yeah. Yeah, to hit 10K. Yeah. Honestly, we just need that one video to pop up and be like, yeah. damn, y'all funny. I'm like, I know. <laughs> been. Been funny, bro. <laughs> you guys got great chemistry. Yeah. I've known them for like 10 years. Chemistry. I've known them for a you minute. Got that chemistry, bro. And that leads us to moment number one. Was number the fight one. between Percy and Aries. I really, you know, Adam Copeland, as some of you guys might know, as Edge. You guys hey. watch wrestling as a kid? You guys don't Obviously, know Edge? Yes, I know Edge. I don't know about Daniel. Rated R Superstar. The Rated R. familiar, but I don't know where Oh, my God. Dude, really? <laughs> dude, I, I, this guy looks like a wrestling fan more than you, honestly. Like, if you just, like, body type everything, like, you would think, you know? Well, you know Thomas and Billy. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, like, I grew up watching wrestling with them. Yeah. So, like, yeah obviously and John Cena? Pretty good. I mean, I watched it when I was, like, five. Exactly. You should know Edge. That's what I'm saying. You should definitely know Edge. You watched it, like, once. Yeah, yeah, I bet you one time you Googled the uh, Edge and Lita sex scene, bro. There's no way you <laughs> Edge and what? <laughs> Edge and Lita sex scene? Well, uh, okay, just quick context, and you can leave this in. Yeah. The guy who plays Ares, yeah. he was a wrestler, right? Okay. Back in the early, mid-2000s. Yeah. When wrestling was like... When wrestling was, you know, before it was PG. Yeah, yeah they had all those stupid, like, scenes. Well, yeah. so he won the yeah. WWE Championship, okay. and to celebrate, they put a bed in the middle of the ring. Um, Him and Lita, the girl that he And was they pretty like, much, like, filled in porno. Yeah, well, no, nah, they, they, <laughs> nah, they just went underneath the sheets, and then he came out with the bra. Like, they had a out. sex scene. They had, like, yeah. a sex yeah. scene. On live, on live TV. Crazy. What the fuck? But no, okay, let's talk about the actual scene, though. It was great. I did love that. I love the way that he played Ares. I love the fight. It was just a great, like, overall, like, this kid going up against a god, and I felt like they really showed it well. So the challenge was pretty much uh, whoever draws first blood. Yeah, which in the book, they don't say that. So I'm really happy that he, he was like, oh, let's set some boundaries. Because that way, it's not like, oh, I need to beat you. No, I need to kill you or anything. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. draw, like, yeah. draw first blood. He was like, yeah. yeah, and that just gives Percy an easy way out to beat him. Yeah, yeah. so bleeds gold. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what the no. blood is called? Like Icarus or something like that? Icarus is a... <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's the guy. that <laughs> He actually shows up in season four, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> like in the future yeah anyways no i think it's icarus the blood is named after a person i think the person is named after the blood no, <laughs> just kidding uh, yeah, well for season two we'll come back and we'll figure it out i'm looking it up right now yeah he's like it's gonna kill me if i don't find well, out anyways yeah well while he does that we'll talk a little bit about the scene yeah so yeah they, they start their fight and uh, he gets his ass whooped he gets his ass real fast you real know fast. and that happens in the book too like you're, yeah. you're, you're out close. of your league what? you were close it's ecor ecor uh, I C H O R for the people out on Spotify. Iker, Iker, Iker. Apple Podcast. Icor? Or does it tell you how to pronounce it? Like the little. Oh, it gives me the uh, more fucking. That. Iker? Iker. Iker. Yeah, Iker. Something like that. Iker. Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah, he's getting his ass kicked. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. Quick. He's like, yeah, dude, I'm way out of my league. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah. Uh, go up against the god of war, you know? And then uh, he finally, like, gets upper hand with the waves and everything. And once he gets that big ass wave to get him, he, like, just, like, sneaks up on him and, like. Do you think him. he made that wave? No. Yeah. Or do you think that was, uh, you know, Poseidon throwing a little <laughs> handicap? That, that's him figuring out he's got a little something song. Yeah, I think that is Percy. I feel like in the books, he's like, he gets stronger and stronger, but I think that's like the potential of what he can do. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I agree. So in the book, and I'm really sad they took this part out, Ares pretty much tells him, he's like, you beat me today, boy, but you've made an enemy for life. Mm -hmm. Next time you, like, uh, someday when you draw your sword, 
it's going to fail you. And that's like the curse that he puts on him, you know? Yeah. And that's big because like in the, in like, I think in the last book. Well, he did say you made an enemy for life. Yeah, yeah. But he doesn't say the, the, the curse uh, part. The curse yeah. part yeah. where like, hey, man, like the moment you draw your sword and you're going to need it the most, it's going to fail you. Because yeah. in the book, um, I won't spoil the scene, but like he's he like, this is the moment that he like needs to fight and win. And his sword like just gets really heavy and he can't pick it up. And he's like, fuck, he remembers what Ari said. And he's yeah. like, fuck, he needs to. He put a curse on it. And then he ha he just has to figure out another way out of the situation, you know, yeah. and just be smart about it. But I wish they put that in there. That's the only. And speaking of that sword, <laughs> which one? Hey, uh, Percy's Riptide. In the movie, it's a little click, you know, an actual mm. nice pen. This one is a fucking big pen in the show. What do you mean big pen? Big, big, big. <laughs> big. Like the, the I know, company, I'm big. Yeah. yeah, you don't like that, like that. Is no, because it's fucking stupid. <laughs> it goes like, oh, fucking. Shing. I don't know. Eh. I thought it was a click pen. Yeah, it was. It's not. Well, he's like, I know. I saw. I kept looking. I was. That's what bothered, is what bothers me the most. The fucking pen. I think you're wrong. I think it is a. Uh, How much you want to bet? I don't want to bet anything. I don't got money. I don't know. I don't got money on me right now either. You you got Venmo? <laughs> bet no. right now. It's not a fucking click pen. It's a little fucking pop the top. <laughs> no, no way. No way he went like that. Well, he doesn't, but he goes like, he, he does a little flick to take it I off. I don't know, bro. Is that what like, it was? Yeah. We won't argue about this right now. You no, guys let are, us know in the you, comments wrong. below. I mean, I don't know. It's Angel's wrong. Let me know how much I need to bet him for. So, Because I know talk, he got the money. Let's talk about the season a little bit. Yeah, we're not done yet. I was ready to go home. After all the top five moments and everything... What was the worst part for you guys in this, in Percy Jackson and the Olympians? The pen. <laughs> <laughs> He's dying on that hill. Yeah, he is. I, there wasn't really anything I like. Uh, well, I'll dislike. tell you guys what the worst part was from reading the book. No, it's the pacing, bro. With the three headed ladies, or the lady with the one eyeball. Oh, they were in there, but they just I didn't guess, have one. Yeah, eyeball. actually, that, that's what they were sewing the yeah. thing. They, that's what they also they changed. Annabeth is the one that sees that yeah. in the books. It's Percy, and he does it way before. Mm. But okay, I'm, let me just say this. So Percy Jackson, the book, you can get all the way to like two thirds of the book, and two thirds into the book is just the first two episodes. So they pretty much fit the last like five episodes in that like last one third of the book. And in my head, I'm like, bro, I wish we saw more of the camping scenes. I wish we saw more of like Sally Jackson in the beginning. Like there yeah. was a lot of things in the beginning that we missed. I was going to say, I didn't really like the beginning where yeah. it was, you know, little Percy and going to school and seeing well, the, uh... um, that's not the, I'm talking about like him, like going to camp and like figuring, figuring oh, shit out. I was talking camp. before that, but. Well, yeah, but yeah, we get yeah. those like oh, yeah. throughout the season, though. Like, yeah, but like that's not really in the book either. Like, they don't yeah. show any of the any flashbacks. Yeah, do you? Yeah, uh, but I do. I do miss seeing more of the camp. Yeah, I think there should be more camp. I agree. More camp, mm -hmm. especially. Hold on. Like a lot of the episodes too, like started like at weird times. Uh, Question: Do you think the uh, the show stayed uh, somewhat true to the books? I think the themes. Stay true. There was a couple things that they did stray away from the book, but I thought they were good choices. So example, one of the good choices that got straight away was Poseidon gave him four of those balls instead of three. In the book, he gets three. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense for him to give him four because obviously Poseidon is thinking about Sally. Like, why wouldn't you give him four? Because in your in your mind, you're thinking, oh, all four of you are going to make it, you know? Yeah. So in the book, I'm like, why do you only give him three? Like, there's, you know, you like, obviously you don't think. Follow up question. Yeah. Do you think it was better than the movie? Yeah, movies. 100%. It's about the same for me. I really? Think. Yeah. But th that means you really like the movie. I do like the movie. I, it was okay. For I, I just, it's just because, like, I know the book and they changed so much for the movie that they didn't have to change. I guess that's what it is for me. I don't read any of the books. I don't read yeah. Oh. Um, I was like, big fan of the books. Like, I'm honestly, here pretending the movie. like I read all the books. I read like, yeah, two. too. No, dude, like, honestly, they did change a lot. And I feel like the, like, at least the shows stay true to, like, the themes. Like, a lot of it they did change, but I feel like they changed for the better because Rick, the author, wrote like yeah. part of it you know and i felt like the things that changed were probably things that he would want to change going back to like writing yeah. the book like you know? things that would have changed yeah. yeah he's like oh you know what this this would have been better if i wrote it this way let yeah. me just write it again mm -hmm. this way you know the casting well no the no uh, my next question oh go casting. ahead <gasps> let's talk about it the big I, elephant well, <clears throat> the big change up we'll talk annabeth <laughs> yeah well and also percy but and zeus in the book And in the movies, obviously, Percy has black hair, blue eyes, and Annabeth has blonde hair and is white. Do we think yeah. that matters for the show? I that Percy is blonde and Annabeth is obviously a black girl? I don't think so. I don't really. I don't really care. Yeah, I didn't care either. Yeah. I a lot of people were <laughs> mad, bro, on the internet. They were like... You know what uh, it is? 
Racist. Uh, 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 that it is. is it called that, but racist. Uh, what's her name? Alex Dondario. Den- Alexa. Uh, <clears throat> no, Alexandra. Sorry. Alexandra. You need some water, she, my boy. She bad. What that, the- that's what they missed. No, that's, that's not what I mean. He's been horny this whole time. Yeah, this whole time, bro. On a Monday, too. I was like, maybe we record on a Monday. He won't be as horny. What, what's what's it called when people... Um, Are racist? No, when they cast the role, but they switch the gender or the ethnicity. There's, an, there's a Gender term swap? For, no, not gender. I mean, is it gender swap? Race swap, yeah. Race swap, yeah. yeah. I think people just... It's like, at the end of the day, it's just racist. They get nitpicky and they care about things like that when at the end of the day, they didn't. Affect the uh, over changed a little bit. I mean, yeah, he's Indian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like, he's like that a over little boy bit. looks different. <laughs> but also, he's, like he's in the, the books, he's white. Like, yeah, oh, he's, he? yeah. So in yeah. the book, he's he's supposed to be this um, white Raska kind of character. Raska is that how you pronounce it? The with the beanie and like like the, Rasta? Rasta? Rasta. Rasta. Rastafarian. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Yeah. Yes. If you can picture a white guy with dreads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, what he that's was what supposed Grover to look is. like. That's terrible. No, I like how they cast younger kids. For these roles yeah i think it would have been weird to see like a 21 year old play percy honestly once they made the second movie for the percy jackson i was like dude they're getting old like uh what's his name is starting to bald <laughs> no yeah he's not balding no he's not but his hairline was receding he more like i'm I, like logan learman obviously like he still has hair i'm just saying it looked like he was like the, from the first movie to i the think second i think movie. it was just a haircut they gave him yeah he, you he know what big ass forehead yeah yeah that's what i'm saying he had a big ass forehead in the second movie and that haircut doesn't help it yeah yeah, yeah i yeah, think yeah. he's probably the haircut because honestly he does have a lot of hair right now like he's, yeah. he's not balding so like yeah. obviously like no i did like that yeah. they cast younger kids for the uh for these but dude they grew up fast bro like, if you see walker skull right now like oh yeah i don't know he did this grown yeah he's got puberty his him as a person as bro a person. He, he reminds me a lot i guess everybody says it like ryan reynolds uh, well you yeah. watched the adam project right i did i really yes. did that movie. I, had, he, I watched it recently again and i think that really made him i feel like that made him and like playing it's just a goofy against kid. ryan reynolds and just being so like him you just you, he it made him as an actor like he can get any role he wants now so i know we don't talk about scores or anything for like shows but uh b plus well, no, not not that. Uh, yeah, I was gonna give it like a B plus B. And you know, we don't really talk about like the budget for shows or anything like that. Ninety five million. Um, oh yes, like I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, I thought he knew. That's what we were guessing. Well, no, no, this was backed by Disney. Yeah. Right. From what I've read online, you know, on Letterbox, people on Twitter, it. Reddit, people have been mixed about the show. They have no, a hundred percent. People have been Dude, mixed about. They're the show. like the CGI is bad, the writing is bad, and I get it. it like some of the CGI the doesn't really. Uh, I prefer the movie, whatever for whatever you know. Yada, I mean, yada. it did have a high budget, and honestly, like some of the scenes, I'm like, you could have probably like like, worked like, on like, it. like, like no mama, it's like we just spend the money on. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, bro, they're not even high actors. Yeah. Edge, bro. Yeah, I know he didn't cost money. No, there's no way. It was like four hundred and fifty. Yeah. Um. Do you guys think? And I'm not wrapping it up. I have one more question after this. Do you guys think? Do you think we're getting a second season? Of yes. course. Yeah. Honestly, I'm surprised. As soon as the season ended, they didn't announce it. Uh, I was so surprised. Like at the end. Or but something? the trio right now is like hanging out. Like they're hanging out. So I feel yeah. like they're getting ready for. It. And they've been writing the second season just in case. So yeah. it's already like. Like almost ready like to go. Like the booking out there. <laughs> yeah, no, but like you know. Yeah. Like, They're just completely. So is each season gonna be one book? Yeah, I think, I think so. so. Maybe the last season could be. Uh, no, you just make it longer. You just make it more episodes. But yeah. I do think they, it sh- they, it sh- should, they, should, they drag should be it getting out. longer though. The the more episodes. Yeah. Like at ten episodes for Especially season two. Especially if you're doing 30, 40 minute video uh, episodes. Because yeah. these are short, man. Maybe like fifty. Maybe like. What, like 12 episodes? I'm not going to lie. This first season could have been 10 episodes. I think so, too. And could have added a little bit more, mm, you know, more, more detail. A little yeah. more pizzazz. Pizzazz. Did you have another question you said? No, not a question, but just, a, I guess, a statement. Um, I really like the scene with Grover and Aries. Oh, when they're at the diner talking? When they're at the diner talking? Yeah. And then Ari, uh, Grover's just talking about, like... Well, he's trying to get information. Yeah, I know, but I just like that scene. And he does a good job. Well, almost like they they suspect. He's talking about like random small wars, and he's like, "Man, nobody talks about those." <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, "Damn, man." He's like, "That's Damn, your best war." He's like, "That was the best war." Yeah. yeah like, what the hell? I'm like, yeah, "That's how you get Aries, but you just start talking about wars, and he's in. He's hooked." I like that. All right, guys, that was our review of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, season one. Uh, let us know down below in the comments. Did you enjoy the show? Um, is it something that you're planning to watch? Uh, and do you think there should be a season two? We'll see you next time. Adios. Deuces.